What is up? I'm Warner Turtle, and today we have yet another Crown Zenith opening. As as you can and as you as you can see, we are doing not one but two ETBs. Uh, this is for our patron and good friend Richard Omega, uh, longtime supporter of the channel. And we're gonna open both boxes, and then so we can open all 20 packs without interruption. But hope you're all having a good day, and um, yeah, looking forward to some more Crown Zenith action. Set has been a lot of fun for myself um, and it occurred to me the other day like I haven't gotten like any insane pulls uh, like none of the gold uh, god cards in the cave the Mewtwo but it's just been a lot of fun to open still and I feel like that's just like going to be the strength of the set um, long term what's in here is it's just a fun set and it's just um, you know even if you have all the cards already, it's just going to be enjoy, enjoyable to open, pulling all these alt arts and stuff. So um, I do, I, I am optimistic for the long term of the set. Again, even if the value is not there, let's compare it to like, I don't know, I think it'll, there's almost zero chance as far as like the value of the cards to age as poorly as like Champion's Path. But just the fact that the set is so much fun to open will carry it, if that makes sense. So we got two very nice promos. The, the card is like towards the top, so it's can't not standing up appropriately. And let me just make sure I got some sleeves. All right, we are good to go. Let me just check. Richard Omega says he's looking for Leafeon V-Star. So you can be friends, the full art supporter friends, Alisa, Alisa and Mew and Riolu. So here we go. Best of luck. And although I've... I am 100% confident it never happened. If you don't, if you fail to pull anything from any of the ETBs, we will pull another box for you. All right, pack one. I think I see something from the side. And, oh, maybe I was wrong. All right, nothing on that pack. 19 to go. Shout out to everyone on the Discord and congrats to I think at least a couple people uh, have pulled some of those gold cards. I think one of them. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> there we go. All right, check it off. Um, Dialga. Oh, what was it? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't remember who, but they said I had the dupe. I wonder if it was Dialga. <laughs> but very nice pull. And um, yeah, when I said we never pulled one of those cave cards, I don't know what to call these. Let's take a look at the centering from the back. Ooh, okay, top to bottom, it is not perfectly centered, but still a very nice card. Um, you know, these are uh, the the origin form Dialga, Palkia, Arceus. I'm not the biggest fan of them, but and like I do like this idea of the art being, you know, this big picture and the Pokemon actually not a lot of detail. It's kind of small, but just to especially when it makes like a single big picture. Um, I love that approach. It's different, and eh, maybe that's the biggest thing. It's just very different from everything we've seen up till now. So congrats on congrats, Richard Omega, on that monster pull to start off the video, starting off strong. And we got the signature card of I never figured out how to say it. Is it just B, B. Yeah. Um, I like these cards. I think because of how not so difficult they are to pull and there's two different variants and most importantly it's not full art uh you know they're just going to be cool but nothing special i feel like i think i like the way they did it in japan better where it's like a separate product as a promo but it's okay no qualms about it but i think it's just not big collectible thing just because they're not that difficult to pull you know i think they they didn't make it easy for those cards being you know they're not full art um but they do have the signature which which i'm i'm all for something different uh but just because of the way it was printed and the ooh, a comfy oh that, see look at this it's just different it just works um because of it, how it's just different um i still like it uh this one does look pretty well centered maybe the top actually this border looks a little bit thicker than that so not perfect. I haven't seen pulled this card yet. Once they return one of that spot. Top two cards. Interesting. 
All right, so we're not going to compare, consider that a hit, but we will consider these two GG cards hits. So I feel like this set ETBs roughly get easy 50% hits out of the 10 packs. Uh, even if we don't, we did get a home run, so all good. Let's see, he did say Riolu. I'm not, I don't know the whole set. I'm guessing it's not that. Maybe there must be a GG card. Zamazenta. Um, very nice art. I think uh, I did pull the Galarian Gallery of the um, Zacian with like the very different art style. I did like that. I do like that. That Zamazenta kind of like reminds me of it. Although that one's kind of like more full color. All right, looks like we do got, this is just a reverse energy. Uh, in the, you know, the special energy, I don't, I still don't know what to call it. The textured energy, I think that's fine. Um, I think they're cool, but, you know, I think it's definitely on the weaker side as far as hits go. And I think, like, I would consider a hit, but I wouldn't count that. Like, if that's all you got from ETB, I would crack a second ETB for you. Drop it back on the ground. All right, so for the first ETB, we've got three packs remaining, maybe like three-ish hits. So to get to that, you know, 50% five is going to be, I think, pretty easy. EVV, you know what? EVV, nothing special, but I do like that art. I don't know how to describe this first, like the traditional, the other EVVs. It's kind of, reminds me of Chibi, but I don't know how that applies to an EV. Um, but it just, it's just cute. I like it. So not the, <laughs> we got the Eevee. Now we gotta get the Evolution, the Leafeon for Richard Omega. I still haven't decided what like the card that I want the most is. I'm probably gonna, I'm leaning towards the Mewtwo. Uh, again, like the, the cave cards, they're cool, but ooh, another, GG card, a texture one. I think GG texture cards are just like what I want to go after, but then I'm not even sure if the, the Mewtwo is one of those. And we got the Husuyan Samurott. Ooh, and a textured energy. So that is a very strong pack. And just like that, we've blown right past the, let's see, two packs left, blown right past that 50% ratio. That is more definitely above 50%. This one looks pretty well centered. Uh, can't imagine this card is too, like, you know, nothing special as far as getting it graded, but it is, I think it has a shot at a 10, put you in a penny sleeve. And these energies are just cool. I'm not even sure why I'm checking this. Not as good as the gold energies. I mean, they're energies. Like, I'd be impressed if they can continue to innovate on the energy cards after gold. I don't think you could do rainbow. No one wants to see a rainbow. Uh, rarity of energy. Oh boy, we're making a mess here. Just gotta get the packs out of the way. All right, two packs remaining. Yeah, very successful box one. I think it'll be tough to follow it up, but I like our chances. I like Richard Omega's chances. Ooh, we got the Ditto. I think when I first saw this card in Japanese, I just assumed it was, what are these guys, Nummels? Uh, but yeah, then I was like, oh, at first I thought it was a bunch of Nummel with one happening to be a Ditto. Then I realized, oh, nope, it is just a Ditto card. This one does look pretty well centered as well. I do like this card. Uh, I'll have to take a closer look at it, but this would be one that I would go for a 10. I would submit if I thought it had a good shot at a 10. I don't remember. It was like one of the Delta species ones. I wish I picked them up. I don't know, five years ago. They had like the starters, uh, but they were dittos. Whale Lord, all right. So I feel like this happened to me a couple times of all the openings I've did is like a Whale Lord reverse followed by a regular Whale Lord. Ooh, okay, BD, signature card. I don't know what kind of signature that is. Oh, maybe it's just the, the characters for in the Pokemon games. I don't really understand when they say signatures. Whose signature that is? All right, so very strong box one. Got a handful of cards sleeved up. One, two, three, eh, four, 
five, six, six, and we'll count this as like a seven. <laughs> so seven hits in that first ETB. We got a whole nother 10 packs. Reset the counter. Here we go. And we still have a lot of products for this. So, you know, like I don't, if, if you haven't been able to find any Crown Zenith and it's like, oh, do I overpay? I mean, I feel like anything above $50 is not worth it. Um, or that, you know, that $5 per pack. And it's always difficult to wait, but because of the plethora of products that are still to come. Um, ooh, Roxanne. All right, first, I thought it was going to be one of the friends. Uh, definitely, ooh, is that one? Double hit pack. Definitely think if you're patient enough, the prices per pack will get back to, if nothing else, that $5. I mean, I think they're still available on like Target website, but I think for whatever reason, I think their price is like 54 or something. All right, so strong pack. I like that Roxanne. Actually, I feel like the ability sounds pretty good too. Um, if your opponent's three or few prize cards remaining, each player shuffles. It's kind of like Marnie, but even grosser. Six and two. Ooh, that, that's brutal. And I guess, in theory, if you have like only three card prizes, you know, getting down to three is very, very reasonable. All right. Purloin reverse into an executor. All right, bit of a cool off pack there. Uh, we got the the Red Reggie Drago and Reggie Alecki boxes in the background. I'll probably open them at some point. One of the, the Reggie Alecki boxes kind of ripped uh, in transit. So that's definitely one I would probably open. Ooh, look at this Absol. I like it. Not sure exactly what we're looking at as far as the background goes. Seems like it's just, I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> But very nice looking. Let's take a look at the back. Ooh, another pretty well centered card. I haven't seen, I think, uh, you know, the, was it nine cards that make one artwork? I picked up a bunch of the like outside ones I haven't seen. I think, I'm pretty sure it's Pikachu in the middle and the secret Pikachu. Definitely haven't, haven't seen any of those. So as far as that secret rare, it's more difficult to pull than you know, I compared Champions Path compared to Hidden Fates, in my experience at least, and I'm fine with that. You know, I feel like we've been living with Secret Rare so long that I mean, they're by no means a secret. <laughs> and to pull a Secret Rare, it's kind of like expectation of one per box kind of thing. So for it to be hard to pull, I am all for that. All right, so actually this box, we only have four packs remaining. I would say two, you know, two solid hits. Definitely um, need a little bit more gas from this box. Well, the first box I would say was definitely above average. It would be a little disappointing for it to end uh, with this one being less than average. Altaria does help. Ooh. This Altaria, it's not the biggest fan of the art. I like the idea of like, you know, Pokemon in the room, but it kind of looks like they took an Altaria art and just pasted it on this random bedroom centering is not perfect we're gonna wrap charizard sleeve all right we're down to three packs left for this opening all right my very minor not relevant super not relevant but minor complaint is there's only one pack art and for some reason I thought they were going to be Zacian and Zamazenta. Ooh, Keldeo, another pretty good one. It's a very like, <laughs> um, I guess the My Little Pony would be the Galarian Ponyta, but kind of get, has that kind of vibe. I love the, what is that, Borealis or something on top. All right, and just like that, we're at four... Stoutland, obviously nothing special, but I would say we did hit that 50%. Um, still looking for a little bit more to make this at least a middle of the road box. Bidoof. All 
okay, hop. <laughs> One of these favorite characters. Uh, I do appreciate the, the signature. It feels very hoppy. <laughs> Oh, texture card, but uh, it's just a Simisir V-Star. Uh, I feel like this kind of brought us over that, you know, that 50%. Um, still, still nothing super strong. I feel like the strongest right now is maybe, um, probably the Roxanne, uh, Caldeo, and Absol are pretty good though. And we got one pack remaining. Let's get, let's get a GG texture card. How about that? Good luck, Richard Omega, and again, thanks for allowing me to open this on your behalf. Congratulations on that cave poll. Here we go. I feel like from the side I saw something. We're going to slow roll it. Oh, it might be a regular V, though. Oh, no. It is in the uh, reverse slot or the, the Galarian Gallery slots. Um... I was gonna venture, I guess I don't have one. Ooh, the samurai again. Kind of disappointing to have a dupe. Um, but hey, we got we got a texture GG card, which is what I was hoping for. So we will call that a win. Um, definitely not as strong as your first box, but the hit ratio did about to about the same. So yeah, I'll call that a better than average opening. But yeah, uh, let me know how you're doing with this set. What are your thoughts? Um, feel like it's a ton of fun. I think it's definitely worth opening. Just don't overpay. Again, with so many products still to come. And I'm sure at least one of them. Whether it's the tins, whether it's the ETBs. One of them will just be printed. Um, you know, like the Charizard UPC. I mean, just the fact that you can still find Shining Fates. Um, I guess I skipped over celebrations. Like, you don't see those anymore. Uh, but I have to imagine something from this uh set will just be continue to be printed uh so definitely don't overpay but a ton of fun to open definitely recommend it and that's gonna be it for this video richard mega thanks again thanks for watching everyone i'm moana turtle and i'll catch you all next time peace